normally I would be giving all of this advice, all of this unsolicited biased advice during class, during one of my many talks. But since I'm not seeing you, I'm going to do this uh, virtually, so to speak. And, um, you know, hopefully you'll get something out of it. Okay, so now that you're graduating, I say graduated, you might as well have already graduated. You've only got a couple of weeks left. But now what? So let's, um, let's see what's going to happen. First things first, the projects, they are done. That's it. They're, they're gone. We might be, it might be possible for you to come back over the summer and uh, help me out with uh, setting up a few things. But the reality is that um, they're pretty much done. Okay. Uh, data. You have a lot of stuff from all four years of school in your laptop. Make sure that you transfer everything from your laptop to, uh, to some sort of a personal drive elsewhere. Because if you don't, if you keep putting it off, you're going to forget once you graduate, you're not going to have access to this. So uh, do that um, soon. You could always increment, you know, add a few things towards the end, but I would take over sometime over the next couple of days to go ahead and transfer everything out as, as quickly as possible. OK, uh, the last assignment. This is one of the last assignments for you to watch the video. But if I do ask you for maybe a short um, essay on your experience or some other small thing, please do it. I'm not asking you for much right on purpose. I haven't loaded you with anything because a lot of you have AP classes and who's to say that you might you would have not have done it anyway. So if I ask you for a short assignment, do me a favor, please do it. Okay, so I'm going to be giving you a bit of advice uh, from someone who graduated high school before the Internet and before Google even existed. How could somebody have possibly done uh, graduated from college without the Internet or without Google? Uh, if I needed to do some research, I would have to go to the library. Gosh, heaven forbid. So take some advice. All right. I'm going to break it down in different situations and not everything's going to apply to you. But chances are it will, at least in some degree. So just watch the whole thing. I certainly wish that somebody had told me a few of these things when I was leaving high school. But obviously, I didn't have um, I didn't have that. Uh, I was the first one to graduate from high school in my family. Then obviously I was the first one to graduate from college. So hopefully you'll take some of this and learn from it. So first and for, uh, foremost, you need a plan. It is almost impossible for you to succeed, at least to the level that you'd like to succeed if you don't have some sort of a plan. Uh, some of it is very informal. Sometimes it is very formal. But you want to uh, you want to write some things down. You want to at the very least say, hey, in five years, I'm going to graduate from college and I'm going to be starting a career. OK, but what kind of career? Be very realistic. By that, I mean, if you're saying five years, I'm going to be a pediatrician. Well, you can't. That's not realistic unless you're uh, an absolute genius. You're not going to be able to graduate from college and medical school in five years. So uh, same thing if you say I'm going to go, I'm going to play in the NBA. Well, if you're five foot nothing, you're not going to be able to uh, play in the NBA no, you know, five years or 50 years from now. So make sure that you have a plan that is realistic and as specific as possible. You could always uh, change it. You could always th take things out. But for the first uh, 15, 20 years of my post high school life, uh, I went in five year increments and it worked out. Um, Actually, actually, my first job, I was in it for five years, almost to the day. I didn't plan it that way, but it just how it turned out. Uh, my second job, I was in it for five years. And then my third job, I was in it for a little bit under five years. And then after that, um, you know, it's been a heck of a lot longer teaching. But definitely do that. It took me five years to graduate from college, too. Go figure. So your ideal profession, what are you going to end up doing? You're going to look at... What is it that you're able to do? What is it that you can do? And what is it that you're going to be getting paid to do? Ideally, somewhere in that little area where they all meet is uh, is the perfect spot, right? Not all of us are going to be able to do that. Sometimes uh, you're going to get paid a lot to do something you really hate. 
okay, but you're getting paid. Sometimes you get paid little for something you don't like. You're gonna have to uh, see what your particular uh, threshold of pain is, what is it that you're looking to, uh, you're able to do and um, willing to do. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. All right, the first group, armed services. I think we might have two people that are going into the armed services. That's the Army, Air Force, uh, Navy, Marines. Uh, you can be in all kinds of jobs, but make sure that it's something you are going to use when you get out. Uh, some, uh, it might be that you just want to grow up and you want to be there, uh, you know, kind of uh, till you figure out what you want to do. But if you're there for five years and you come out and you all you know how to do is shoot a gun, uh, then it's probably not going to be very useful. So make sure that you are trained in a job that you're eventually going to be able to use outside of that, right? Make sure that you take a full advantage of my tax dollars paying for your experience uh, in the armed services and um, learn something useful. If you're going straight to work, uh, good luck. First of all, you're going to be living with your parents for a while, just, uh, just so you know that, right? Um, right now, everything I'm telling you is uh, with the assumption that it's going to be quote unquote normal. But uh, if you do get a job, save your money, chances are that it's not going to be as much money as you think it is. Even though I'm getting paid 15 bucks an hour, woo, that's not a lot. So save your money. Keep an eye for what it is that you're going to do down the road, right? And work at getting work. If you sitting there looking for a job, you want to be working at getting a job for you know eight hours a day that's a full-time job to look for a job just so you know that right and once you are in that job keep an eye out are you going to be looking to get promoted are you going to be looking to move on in that particular field or change things on altogether so keep that in mind community college yeah i talk a lot of smack about community college but only if you don't have a plan if you just go and you're like your cousin who is taking classes right and you could be literally be 27 28 years old and still be in college living at home so take it seriously it's not just 13th grade the bottom line is what is your plan are you going to transfer are you going to get a certificate? Are you going to be a welder? Are you going to be a cosmetologist? Are you going to go and transfer to Cal State Fullerton or UCI, et cetera? You need to know what it is that you're going to do because number one, it's going to take longer than you think it's going to take and it's going to be harder than you think it is going to be. So the statistics that I've always told you guys is that as a freshman, as a college freshman at a community college, only 15% eventually transfer and get a degree of some sort. That means that 85 out of 100 do not. Why? Well, life happens. As a freshman in a four-year college, you uh, the stats are way better. 65% eventually graduates with some sort of a degree. All right, so please keep that in mind. Make sure that you put a plan together and stick to it. If you are going to a straight to four-year college, first of all, I broke it down into two separate things, right? If you're commuting, you want to stay on campus as long as possible. Leave in the morning and come back at night. You want your parents to know that it's a different deal. If you just sit at home and you don't leave but to go to class and then you come back, your parents are still going to think, hey, this is just like high school. You don't want them to think that. So you want to also get as full of an experience in college as, uh, as humanly possible. So leave in the morning and stay there. Hang out with your friends, hang out at the library. Uh, you know, unless you don't have a class at all that day, you probably don't want to do that. But if you're going to have to be on campus, stay there, right? And then come back, you know, at midnight or whatever your curfew is. You're still going to have to live with your parents' uh, rules. But um, you want to stay there as long as possible. Obviously, if you live on campus, you're going to be there the whole time. So, yes, I misspelled the, your, uh, the word your. Uh, but... Um, you want to schedule both your social and your academic life very carefully because all of a sudden you have a huge amount of freedom. You're 18 years old without a care in the world. And what I have written on there is freedom equals danger. Freedom is great, but if you have too much of it, you could easily end up 
flunking out, stressing out, um, or just having it uh, kind of blow up in your face. So be careful, plan it out, ask, and if you're in doubt, study more. Uh, or study Monday through Friday, and then come Friday night, uh, you know, then you can start having fun. Um, then come back, come Sunday night, it's going to be another school night, and go back to what it is that you're supposed to be doing, right? So be careful with that. That's what I have to say about living on campus. But by the way, if you do get a, a lucky enough to live on campus, it will be the, your absolute best time of your life. Jobs and internships. If you're going to be working while you're going to college, I would suggest keep your job hours to a minimum, the least that you can handle because after all, you're in college, you're a college student and you want to graduate uh, as quickly as possible. And you also don't want to end up um, having to give up quality in your schoolwork over money, if at all possible, right? Sometimes you can't help it. Um, as far as uh, your summer internships, if you're going to be looking for something in the summer, um, to kind of pad your resume and in, uh, increase your experiences, etc. You want to start in the winter. Uh, before Christmas break, go to the Career Center, add your college, and uh, start looking, right? Uh, go to resume workshops, go to interview workshops. Some of your interview skills are terrible, and you need to improve them. Mine, mine sucked. They were uh, absolutely awful. I did not get any better at my interview skills, my interpersonal skills until after graduated from college. And uh, that was unfortunate. I could have done so much better, so much sooner if I had had, uh, you know, somebody had helped me out. If you do go to a four-year college, take a look at this picture and tell me if your school is missing. So, oh, and if you go to Cal Poly Pomona, notice that it is tiny. That Cal Poly Pomona, it is really small. I want you to uh, get me a bigger one. What is your ultimate goal? After our, afterwards, I don't know about you, but my ultimate goal was to move out of my house, move out from my parents, and then go out and get a job and uh, be a productive member of society. Be, yeah, become rich and famous. I don't know. I don't care about the famous part, but uh, you know, it'd be, it would have been great to be rich. I'm not rich either. But whatever it is that your ultimate goal is, right? you want to try and achieve it as quickly as possible. Um, but keep that always in the back of your mind. What, you know, any, any decision that you make, is that gonna be helping or hurting your ultimate goal? All right, returning, very simple. And what I mean by returning, I mean coming back to high school. Don't. If I don't see you ever again, Ah, okay, I'll, you know, I'll think fondly about some of you, uh, but um, don't come back unless you are successful, unless you have something to tell us, unless you have something to share. Because you know, if, you, if next year you're going to OCC, uh, your IBC, or you're working or a Starbucks or whatever, hey, I just thought I'd come and say hi. Don't come and say hi unless you've actually are doing something exciting. Uh, go work, go live your life, and uh, eventually you come back and say, hey, Mr. Hernandez, uh, I'm in my third year at uh, XYZ College. Can I come and talk to your students? Absolutely. Or, um, you know, I graduated, I'm working at such a place. Um, can I come talk to you? Yeah, come in. Uh, social media, by the way, I am not going to accept, uh, I'm not on Facebook, and I'm not going to accept any of your link LinkedIn requests until probably your sophomore or junior year in college, once I know that you're actually going to be a professional. And uh, don't forget about it. So if you do become rich and famous, and I, once again, I don't care about the famous, but if you do become rich, don't forget about us. Come buy, us, uh, come buy me lunch, come buy me dinner, uh, help out the shop, etc. Heck, I'll uh, put your big name, uh, your name in big letters uh, on the side of the shop if you give us a big donation. So. Um, definitely come back and um, help out the future generations okay so if you are looking for advice later on shoot me an email send me a text um, i'll be happy to help out and if i don't have an answer i can at least point you in the right direction i hope all right so i know that the uh, 2020 year did not end as we had all hoped 
but let's do the best we uh, best we can. All right, guys. Good luck. I'll see you soon.